Hello, my name is Nick Marchese and welcome to another Cloud Asta training video. Today we're going to be focusing on Gemini and Google Slides. Um, so you'll notice that halfway through our playlist on Duet AI, uh, Duet AI got rebranded and is now Gemini. Um, so uh, all of our previous videos um, are still the same functionality, but now with the Gemini um, banner there. Um, so that's what we're gonna be focusing on today, um, is how Gemini is integrated into Google Slides for creating an image, using AI to create an image to give your um, presentations a little bit of pop and custom uh, image creation there that will look different than anybody else's. So let's go in. Okay, so I have a Google Slide um, here that's empty. Let's go ahead and pull this layout off. So um, you might see it immediately pop up on the right side. Otherwise, what we can do is go to the little image icon here or under insert, and you'll see this new create images with the Gemini. And you'll get that sidebar there. Now with other things that we talked about with Duet AI, um, when they have a little text field here, they give you some um, examples. Um, so, so if I click into that box, you'll see it'll have some examples here um, that it goes ahead and recommends. Um, and we'll be we'll be playing around and seeing what works, what doesn't work with us for us today. Um, so one of the examples that we have here from Google is a beautiful photograph of a Hawaiian beach at sunset with palm trees in the distance. So we're gonna put that in and we're just gonna hit create. We're not gonna worry about the styles right now. We'll talk about that in a few minutes just to show you what this looks like. Um, just with like kind of the basic setup of just typing a prompt in, hitting create and seeing what happens. And we get a couple of images here, right? We get these three images. So I'm gonna just select one of these and it just jumps it right in. Um, so you could see the differences between these and just remember that these are generated images. This isn't an image search. So whatever you input into it um, will be uh, something that's happening in this moment um, and being generated by the Gemini AI technology. It's, you can also go in and change the style by going and hitting add style and playing around. All right, so you can see we have photography, background, vector art, sketch, watercolor, cyberpunk, and I'm feeling lucky. All right, so I'm going to go and do sketch just to mix it up a little bit and hit create. Just to show you a different version of what might be created, but leaving our original no style one, which looks like it's a little bit more of a photograph on here leave that here for us all right and now we have sketch and we see we have a couple different ones you see they put some sketches within a frame which is kind of funny but i'll bring this one in you can see that sketch looks very much like a sketch tile um, and for any searches that you do you could always hit this view more and it will generate a couple of more um, and that way maybe you'll get a different option that you like a little bit better um, and we can go ahead and pick from one of those. Usually it'll even give you more options than you did originally. Originally it gives you usually four and now usually it'll give us probably around eight. Um, at any point you can give feedback to any of the suggestions. This is a great one. Or if you give a bad suggestion, say this is a bad suggestion, you can give some feedback as to why it was a bad suggestion. Um, okay, so let's leave those two there. Scroll back up, let's make a, a new slide and let's go and do another one. So let's take a plate of uh, freshly baked blueberry muffins on a wooden table next to a large window. Now let's go back to our no style. And we're gonna go ahead and hit create and see what that comes up with. Again, these are some of the examples that Google is providing, but just type in whatever will work for you in your presentation. And like any of the AI stuff that we've talked about, you're gonna to have to find the limitations of what works and what doesn't work and what's realistic or not realistic um, for you. And you'll quickly find that out the more you play with it. All right, so we got a couple of different uh, photos here. Um, we got, I'll bring in, let's see, maybe these two. Great, we got these photos of uh, blueberry muffins, a wooden table near a window. Um, so what I wanna talk about, it's a way, again, we, we, do, we could play with the style. So we did sketch. Um, Let's, or no, we did want to go. Let's do vector art. Let's see what vector art looks like. Cause that one's a, it's just a bit a bit different here. And let's get rid of this one. We'll keep this original. All right. 
Um, vector art, what do you got for us? We have a couple of different things here. Um, kind of going a little bit. We have this one, it's interesting. Uh, we also have this one that's kind of interesting. So I'm gonna, I'll keep this one. I think that's really fun. Um, but we'll get the one thing you'll notice if you scroll down here, there's the history of all of the searches that we've done so far and what we have what we did and the style that we selected, which is really great to kind of have that history to go back and pull. And you can even just click a photo from our original search about the beach. Um, the other thing that I wanna talk about is how you could just simply change your prompt, just like we do with the other text prompts. Um, to go ahead and make it more particular to what you're looking for, right? So let's go back to this original one, vector art, and we'll go to no style. But let's also ask, uh, say, a plate of flesh, freshly baked blueberry muffins on a wooden kitchen table next to a large window with a hungry dog nearby waiting to eat them. Let's go ahead and hit uh, create and see um, what this brings up for us. And remember, you don't know if it's gonna fully understand our prompt or not, and you always may have to revise it. But let's see what we got. Okay, here we go. So we have our muffins, we'll bring them in. And now we have a muffin here that and a pupper who looks like, actually, let's bring in this one. Looks like he's just waiting to eat our muffins. Right, so again, it's generating a new image. Uh, this one looks like a little bit less realistic, but again, we didn't ask for a specific style. Right, this could be more of a vector arty style. Um, and it's adding in that other prompt that we asked about. Um, let's take this to a different level and go back to our original beach photo here. Right, so we have our uh, original prompt, which was this. Let's add something on this. So a beautiful photograph, a Hawaiian beach at sunset with palm trees in the distance. And uh, let's see. Um, a bunch of people playing volleyball as well. Hit create. Let's see what that takes for us. Maybe we'll be able to go ahead and just compare it side by side with our left one. So let's leave that here. We'll take out or we'll move this guy up here and make it a little bit smaller so that way we can do a side by side. Oh, you see it really changed. Um, it says we're still learning and showing limited results. So we have something here. So this is this is really similar to this one that we originally did. Um, a bit different, but um, definitely you could see that we're only down to two options here. Um, so that might be a little bit too tricky uh, of a prompt there. I mean, it did work. We got what we needed, but you can go ahead and kind of tweak this maybe, right? Um, to maybe be maybe be something different with. Um, uh, with a dog on the beach. Let's see if we could just do something a little bit simpler where they give us a couple of more options. Again, this is where you're gonna have to go ahead and experiment and see what works best for you um, for whatever you're trying to generate. All right, here we go. So this looks like a bit of a simpler ask. And now we have a basically, if we compare it to the original, we have a similar thing. And now we have a dog on the beach, right? So again, find ways to tweak this. Again, it's not searching for these photos, it's generating these photos. So keep that in mind as you go. All right, have fun with Gemini and slides. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to reach out to us. Thanks so much.